Sweet husband, I got you on camera so you can tell us how you made the water for the shower. Yes, yeah, so I was um, like not even filming you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like slowly fading away. Okay. You good? Yes. Okay. Um, so this is kind of the final step in just like uh, running the plumbing for the shower. And so originally we had two lines coming up, one cold and one hot. Um, that was coming from our water tank and I had just plugged them off because it was this is kind of a project that we weren't quite ready for we were just gonna finish later finally we've gotten to it and it was a lot easier than I thought you can see here um, all this is is just a series of elbows and small pex pieces to connect what will be our what would you call those things knobs shower knobs <laughs> we'll just call them knobs that sounds good <laughs> That's what they so want to we found these random pieces from home depot all the pieces that we were finding online on amazon and from other places around they were one expensive but two they didn't really have like a lot of great choices in, in regards to style no feng shui was, yeah there was no feng shui at all <laughs> so we found these pieces at the home depot and so basically I guess it's just like the hot and cold water regulator. Maybe we can call it that. Sound fancy? Very official. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll <laughs> we'll put this knob on here, and this knob will go on here, and we can basically decide how much hot and cold water we want. Yeah. Um, so that we didn't have to buy the pre. What are they called? Some type of mixer. Yeah, it's like pre-mixed. Um, like shower stuff but it was super expensive yeah. and it's just easier so basically the hot comes through the cold run comes through and like Justin was saying you regulate how much of each you want just by turning the knob I think yeah we're all pretty familiar we do it like <clears throat> at least once a week for Juby like twice a month don't tell people that <laughs> I shower more than that <laughs> anyways so and then, it comes up here um, yeah. it just runs here and this is where our shower head is going to connect so we've got this we piece got an here, extension. Um, which will connect like so, and then our shower head is going to connect in a way that comes up over here, kind of so like it's a up rain high. Yeah. yeah, we wanted it up high because we're both super tall people, and we want to be able to get water to kind of rain down on us. Yes, privileged. <laughs> privileged. <laughs> sure. Um, anyway, so <laughs> rain water in a bus. <laughs> That completes the piping completely for the entire bus, which is a huge step. Um, and all we got to do is add one of these foam boards, and then next week our tiles are finished. Yeah, hopefully from Dolores. Yeah. yeah. And put the tiles. I think up. she's delivering them. She wants to come visit the bus. Oh, they're gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited. Do I see something cool? All those people watching will have to correct me. I might be wrong, but I think this is an assassin bug. <laughs> Where? And you see that little pincer thing? A little piercing thing coming from its face. Thing is intense looking. Uses that to stab its prey. Ta -da! Good morning. <laughs> so Justin is currently working on finishing the shower. He drew out this fancy plan of all the places that we'll need to know about to mark out for holes and places to not put screws. All places to put screws. Oh, all places to put screws? Yeah. I tried washing it, by the way. Well, it's still, it's like permanently stained. I think it needs to go in a dishwasher. This man drinks so much coffee and then doesn't wash his cup that his coffee cup has like been through a coffee wall and is like permanently scored <laughs> with coffee. Columbia. <laughs> Colombian, you like that. Anyways, so we tried washing it and it did not. Wait. Is it working? Oh! Shower. Psych. 
just finished. Just kidding. While he finished the shower, I'm gonna be finishing slash just starting to finish up our Spanish tile. We had to um, get a smaller trowel for these like little edge spots because the trowel that we had was too big. Um, and we also had to score and cut all these tiles so that they could fit in to the spaces that weren't the full size of the tile. So you've got this dial, this, um, you can loosen it or tighten it to lock in this arm. And this arm is what you use. You move it in and out and it's mm -hmm. here to brace your tile. And so you can use this as a measuring stick too. Mm, I see, okay, so wait, so where's the measurement? It's to the arrow. <clears throat> so show me what two and a half would be. Um, let's see. Let's see. So you've got this measurement right here, and this goes all the way to three inches. And then it leads off here. And Anything inches. above three inches, yeah. you use this marker. So, so for you, up. two and a half would be like, what, let's see, like right here. Two and a half looks like, oh no, but the line I guess is here, huh, where the arrow is. And so you've got your cutting wheel. So what you did, you took your cutting wheel on yeah. the and score. still lined up and didn't bounce out and then you're going to use this arm to crack it. Oh there it is. Shit, that one got fucked up. So you might need to score it a bit deeper too. Push harder. Yeah, that might get you a better cut. <clears throat> but anyway, play around with it because um, cause yeah, I'm not, I'm no pro by any means. I've just done it like two or three times, but that's the general idea. <laughs> So now that we have gone and done that, I am going to tile this bad boy up and then probably tomorrow I guess, I don't know when, but grout and then I'll be able to move this pantry shelf over and make it road proof. So like put a beam running across so that all the jaws don't fall off and attach the spices to the bottom of the shelf and then yeah and then our kitchen is like almost done <laughs> I just made this little cat door out of some scrap wood that we found, it's nothing fancy. It's just two pieces that I had to like attach together with a little beam. And then I cut a hole for the cats to go in and out. So it's gonna go here. And there'll be hinges up against the wall and it'll like, so that we can clean the lighter box out. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects included. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this piece of wood that I was using <laughs> for her, my tent um, display for my business and it was cedar and I guess I'm not vending really anymore with a booth display so Justin is cutting it and reusing it. I was kind of like not really okay with that but I'm kind of over it I think. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Anyways, so it's cedar so it makes this pretty awesome sawdust and smells wonderful. We kind of gone rogue today. We're doing like so many rando projects that we just have had annoying us, I guess, for so long. So we're covering up these side panels. Don't forget we're going to move this too. Um, which covers our electric wiring um, and we're using my old sign that we cut but it was a little bit too short oh, so 
It's all good. So we decided we're gonna use some of the it? ceiling that's the thin plywood to kind of fill up that space that we can see. While I finished up a couple of things here in the toilet room, I added this cat door that you can open and close here. And we'll probably have like storage for the baby's diapers and extra baby wipes and things like that in there. Um, and then I added this piece so that it holds all this stuff back here in so it gets it road ready. Same with everything in here. And this piece will hold our toilet paper so we'll have a little toilet paper holder come down like that. And all the storage for more toilet paper is in there. And then I added also this piece here and this piece. So now we have loads of space um, for our bathroom stuff. She installed these here so that we can have our towels drying here. And then I have this badass painting of me as a ganja goddess um, that a friend of mine painted and sent to us. So we did have like a chalkboard and some shelves here but we decided to change it because it wasn't really serving a purpose the way we would like and I didn't want to throw this away or anything so we had to find a space for it. So she's in the bathroom watching you while you do your business, <laughs> your doo-doo. <laughs> now it's time to finish this space here. So I drew out my measurements and I'm going to cut probably out of the same wood as this kitchen sink so that it'll be thick and cover up that space. It looks like our tiles have dried up nice too, still a little wet. with mixing it um, just because it's easier this way it was a little bit more expensive but um, it's gonna do the job and be much more efficient so here we go it's very like pasty and sandy and we got a small trowel because we figured we'd be doing small spaces um, so not sure how that's gonna work out but we'll see how it goes 